What is up YouTube? What is up guys? What is up everyone watching my video today? Pro player or apathy back in the building with another YouTube video today bringing you guys some team deathmatch gameplay while I use the K bar but that's not the whole point of the video of course the K bar is actually a really dominant gun I just wanted to put that out there. Today I'm going to be talking about weapon draft something that I'm kind of late on obviously there's people who's made YouTube videos on it there's people who've talked about it but now that I got to play the game and experience uh, the game and the weapons a little bit more I thought you know what why not make a video today talking about it and address it a little bit more you know is it a good thing is it a bad thing you know just go a little bit in depth while I play this team deathmatch and you know gun some fools so my first initial thought when I heard of weapon draft this is gonna be a good thing it's gonna be more different a lot of different guns being used uh, it's gonna be a little bit more competitive you know you have to be good with multiple guns instead of just one or two guns and you know that was my initial thought I'm like alright this is a good thing this is a great thing actually you know even though it's getting some negative feedback some people are like dude this sucks I, I hate this thing like why are we playing with something called weapon draft and in my mind like I felt like it was a 50 50 like half the pros liked it the other half didn't like it but my first initial thought was like this is gonna be something awesome like I'm so down to play with this right and then after playing the game a little bit more I'm like damn I really don't want to do weapon draft there's only one good gun in the game you know this is gonna suck and you know this is gonna be a flawed system but then the more I got to play the game and the more I played and played and the more I grinded Infinite Warfare yes you know what the Volk is freaking disgusting it's a really really good gun and there's a couple good guns you know there's obviously the the better you know it's not like every gun is gonna be the exact same there's a couple guns that are a little bit better than each other so I understood I like I understood that part and I was like damn this might actually kind of suck low key but I still had faith and the more I played and played the game and I started playing like scrims and sort of competitive kind of gameplay you know not just uh, playing S&D tourneys and just or S&D wagers and playing against four Vokes because obviously you know I, the more I real the more I played that actually the more I played like full S&D wagers and S&D tournaments against people using four Vokes the more I realized dude Weapon Draft this low key is gonna be something amazing, man. Like people were using straight up four Volks in S and D tournaments and S and D wagers, like straight up just four Volks. You know, they didn't give a shit. They didn't care. You know, the gun is just so freaking good. Why wouldn't they abuse it, right? So that kind of started to piss me off and take me off. Um, and then it hit me like Weapon Draft is gonna be something that's actually gonna help a lot. Like, it's going to be effective, it's going to help out with the competitive scene. You know, people are not going to see one gun being used. And it's going to make the game a lot, in my opinion, a lot more competitive and a lot more fun because people will be using different guns. And I understand, yes, if like the whole, the whole issue and the whole, you know, problem is, what if you're in a 1v1, you know, versus the Volk in S&D? Let's say you're in S&D, second map, 5-5, you're versus the Volk, and you have... You know, E-Rad, or whatever the gun you have. Like, yes, I understand the Volk might be the more dominant gun, but that's something I feel like they need to nerf a little bit. I'm not sure if they have already, but I feel like the Volk needs to be nerfed a little bit. That will solve the problem right there. And two, I don't know, I feel like that's where the skill comes in place. Let's say you have a sub like an E-Rad. You're not just going to run out in the open and try to challenge the Volk, right? Like, you know you have the sub, you know you have an E-Rad. You got to play your close distance, you got to, you know, try to outplay your opponent more. And I feel like that's going to add a little bit more skill, a little bit more of a skill gap into the game. Just like how, if you realize, in Black Ops 3, there was some certain players that just didn't like burst guns. For example, I'm not roasting Killa because I love Killa. But Killa was one of those players that loved using the HVK or Man of War. He did not like using the M8. He did not like using any burst guns at all. He was mainly just those two guns. And in, in tournaments or in, or in just matches and league matches, he would ban out the M8. He would ban out the XR2. He would ban out pretty much any burst guns or any gun that would that would you know affect the hvk and kind of leave it and make the game like an hvk man of war uh man of war war uh, kind of you know came out wrong but it's just just a basically an auto rifle gun and i felt like even though you know that was his play style you know and that helped him play better i felt like if if he was forced to let's say use the ma or if he if he, like it just requires him to be a little bit more skillful because now he has to be good with the ma he has to be good with certain guns Obviously, you can always argue that, you know, they would just, his team will just give him those guns and they'll just make sure he has the M8 or has the Man of War. I mean, has the HVK or the Man of War. But I just mean in general, like, it requires you to be good with a lot of guns. It requires you to be a lot more skillful. You know, you can't just use, you know, you can't just be good with one gun. Like, it just doesn't work that way. If, let's say, let's say you, you like, first of all, you, you basically how weapon draft's going to work, if you guys didn't know, because I know I kind of jumped into it, some of you guys may not even know who's watching my YouTube video right now, 
The way weapon draft is going to work, basically every team or every player on the team gets to choose two guns and can only use, use those two guns during the map. I'm pretty sure you can change the weapon draft every map and after every game mode, but for the map, let's say I would choose the ERAT and the HVR. I would choose two subs because I'm basically the main sub. So I would choose those two subs and then my teammate would choose an AR and a sub like the K bar and the FHR and then my other teammate could use the Volk and and you can only use those guns during that map and even though it kind of sucks you know in certain cases but overall I think it's going to benefit more it's going to be benefit like the pro scene and the competitive scene more and I feel like it's just going to add a little bit more of a skill gap you know you got to strategize you know you got to make you know your teammate has to be good with that gun and it's not like, like let's say I'm playing uh, another ERAT player, right? Like that ERAT player better be as good as me with their ERAT or like have the gun skill as me. If not, I'm going to be shitting on his team and he's just not going to be a bigger impact. Same goes for all the players on a team. So I feel like it just adds a little bit more skill. And I feel like it's not going to be, like, you're not going to see the same people using the same, same, same gun. You know, it's not going to be three ERADs or two Volks and two ERADs. And it's just, I feel like this adds a little bit more skill gap. And it's going to make the game a lot more fun, in my opinion. You know, I don't have to deal with playing against four or three Volks. You know, instead I'll play an ERAD, I'll play a Volk, I'll play a K-Bar. It just adds that diversity, and I feel like it's just going to be... A lot more fun to watch as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video. We we were shitting on the team, and I don't know what the hell happened. My team just started going slow down, and another team just picked it up and they started shitting on us. But it's all good, man. This has been your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Have a good day, guys. Peace.